and welcome to another video. We do hope you're really well. Today's video is part four of our four part special on our winter fishing. I put four videos together into one series uh, because we didn't post every single week in winter. Unfortunately, life really got in the way. This is part number four. And if in my opinion, it's actually the best one. Um, I enjoyed uh, it the most and I think you'll see why as well. There's some fantastic fish in this video and so we really do hope you like the video. So without further ado, here it is. Hi everyone. I'll start you off with a weird angle. The reason for it is uh, I've not got my wind mic today so it could be a bit windy on camera. I'm trying to shield you a little bit. Now, I wasn't going to film today. <laughs> Because all, all I've been is, on is a uh, bait getting mission at Cleveland's near Rossall. So I decided to have a quick fishing session here at Rossall as well. And so, like I say, I wasn't going to film, but I've just caught a really decent sized whiting. I'll just show it you, it will be windy, so I do apologise. I'll get it measured up for you and I'll put it in the bottom there. But uh, I actually thought, I actually thought it was a uh, a small codling to be honest. This uh, white, but decent size, so I'll be keeping that for the uh, I'll be keeping that for the table. Right everyone, so we have ourselves an impromptu fishing session. Um, just here at Ottispool, Britannia, um, just because the car is basically there. <laughs> and uh, the reason for the fishing session today is because I need to use up some worm, or I want to use up some worm, could I say. Um, I went to get some yellowtails for the freezer from Cleveleys and we were meant to have an fishing session tonight with my dad. Problem is he's not so well at the minute. So I thought, well, I'll use up some of this worm and I'll get down here for a day session. See if I can't find you anything. Rods have only just gone in, so there's no action just yet. Fingers crossed I might be able to bring you something. I haven't got my full camera set up today, just my phone. So, hopefully with it being a nice day, not too windy, I'll be able to film as well. Right, as ever, I'll come back to you if we get anything. everyone <laughs> we've had a blank 
so far. We're still fishing just for now. Just show you the river. So as you can see, the river's flowing back out to sea like a good one. Putting the right bend in my rod. Still just about managing to hold bottom, so you never know. We might see a fish yet. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit hungry, <laughs> so I've probably been giving it like an hour now maximum, and then I'll head off home. As ever, I forget anything, I'll come back to you. Right, everyone, so that's the end of that session. And I've picked up my blankety blank <laughs> checkbook and pen. Um, but I'll be honest with you, for the first time in absolutely ages, I've absolutely loved, no, I won't say I've loved blanking, but <laughs> I've loved the day itself. It's been a fantastic day. Just let me just show you. As you can see, blue skies and fishing right next to uh, right next to the car. Can't beat that. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll sign off with uh, until next time. I'll see you later. Hi everyone. So we're back at it again. Uh, we're not just fishing just yet, so we're just going to go and get some uh, food in a second. Um, the tide's just coming up now, it's a small tide today, but I'll just uh, give you a 360. It's a grey old day, we've on and off showers, but we're just here further up at Otter's Pool this time. Just where, as you can see, between the two markers. That's the uh, shipping channel. Some big boats come up here. So the idea is just fish either if we can get one close to the channel or just before it and uh, see if we uh, can't find you any fish. As ever, you never know. Got to be in it to win it. We'll go and get this. Uh, we'll go and get this food and then we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you fishing. Right everyone, so we've not even started fishing yet. <laughs> well, I haven't. And he's straight into a good fish. Anyway, we'll get him one hooked and uh, we'll get it looked at. There we go. A very decent fish. Ah, right, we'll get it measured up and I'll put it in bottom there. But yeah, pleased with that. You pleased with that old man? Hi everyone, so just that one uh, codlin or cod so far. Um, I've got I've had a couple of white in, I'll just show you before I put them back. So there's one little one there, and a bit bigger one down here, I'll show you that. And a bit bigger one there. So I haven't opened my codling account just yet. I'm pretty pleased that my dad has, so. I think that's his account open this uh, this season. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this guy back and I'll get back to you. Right everyone, so <laughs> I've opened my codling account. I'll just show you. Oh, there he is. 
I'll uh, I'll get it measured and I'll put it in at bottom what it is. I'm getting another bite on my little scrap chip rig here. I'll go see to that and I'll get this measured up. So it's just edging dark now. Just got a bite on there, but I think it's white in. I think it's one of these guys here. They are a good stamp this year. Ooh. They are a good stamp this year. But uh, considering we've got those codling, I'll uh, I'll get it back. I'll measure it up and then put it in the bottom. Yeah, see if we can get anything else. Right, everyone. So it's gone a little bit quiet. So just the whiting and the uh, two codling so far. Just trying out my new camera light. Cost me all of two pounds ninety nine. <laughs> So I'm expecting it to be amazing. <laughs> it lights our, our ugly mugs up anyway. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, gone a bit quiet. So I've changed baits. I've gone on a big bait, and I've gone further out. So you never know. And uh, as ever, if we get into him, we'll come back to you. Right, everyone. So I can't. Uh, can't have a session and not show you the uh, latest and greatest uh, cakes we've got. The old man's been baking again. What do we have here? Well, we should borrow a brith. Homemade borrow brith. I'll give you a close up. Alright, so we've got flasks of coffee today. And so we'll have a cake and a brew. Nice flask of coffee with Birabri. So I thought I'd just show you all these whiting that we've had. <laughs> I'll count them up. That one's all right, he's upside down, but he's all right. He's still uh, alive and kicking. They're all all right, they're all still alive. Um, I'll get these back, I'll count them up, and I'll let you know how many we've actually had. Right everyone, that's us finished. Um, so we ended up with uh, the whiting. So how many, I can't remember how many. I'll count up how many in the video and I'll I'll put it in. Or maybe put it in just the, <laughs> where the, uh, how many whiting we've uh, had. Um, very nice session I enjoyed tonight. Not fish of yours. Wow, good, good one, very man. good fish. That's, that's our personal best um, off of Otter Spool here, so. Yeah, we had nicer cod off the boats in uh, Whitby, but that's off a boat, isn't it? But off the shore, that was uh, that's our PB. Oh, definitely your PB. Mm. Right. Uh, so it's like I say, it's been a very good session. Uh, we've not been out for a, a bit. Um, work and family and things it gets in the way of fishing, doesn't it? Sometimes, so it just is what it is. Um. So, yeah, so we'll try and get out uh, as much as we can while the uh, cod are still running and hopefully bag up on some uh, cod before they uh, leave us for the warmer uh, for the warmer times. So until next time, as ever, we'll see you later. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back. We do hope you enjoyed the video. I'll just go through with you now on the maps the different locations that we went. So I've just zoomed in here to Otto's Pool first for you. This is the car park that we parked on and it's just off Jericho Lane here. We fished just in this location here. I'll zoom in and give you a bit more detail. As you can see it is only a short walk from the car park here down to here. Um, take either of these paths here down to the prom. Uh, we wouldn't recommend going across the grass as there can be dog poo on the grass. Hopefully this image here gives you a bit more detail on that. So as you can see this is the path in and you can go either side. Like I say you can go down there if you want to just be careful of uh, dog poo. And as it does show on here it is a straight drop down to the water. Depending on the size of the tide, you can fish it from low upwards. We recommend a smaller tide to be uh, fishing at this spot as the river comes in and out very quickly and it's hard to uh, hold bottom. 
so i've just popped a street view image on for you so you can be able to see this on google as well uh, as you can see this is the prom itself um this marker here does uh, mark the channel so as you can see it isn't that far to the channel the railings here make it easy to uh, fish from and like i said it is a bit of a drop down there so if you are getting fish up there take your time and be careful i'll just give you a 360 of this area I'll just stop it there but as you can see just here by no means is the only fishing spot you can fish all the way that way and all the way that way as well as you might be able to see on the photograph here there are plenty of parking spots all the way along here there's even some at the uh, pub there and there and there so this is the next location and it is just up from Russell in Fleetwood. This is the location that I fished, which is here. It's known by this road here called Dronsfield Road. It is a very dynamic area. And what I mean by that is it can change a lot. As you can see, these gullies, um, dependent on storm conditions, can change. But there is a main gully that runs through there. And this all fills up here into one big basin. Hopefully that was shown on the video for you. As you can see, this is the main channel of the River Wyatt that comes in there. Um, that is fishable as well, but I would probably say uh, do get some local knowledge about that as we haven't fished it personally. So there's lots of parking in this area. There's parking spots all along the main road and there's a big car park here as well. It's just a short walk onto the beach there. The tide line on the big tides is around about here and on the smaller tides is around about here. Like I tried to show on the video, this here is a big basin that fills at high water. Do take care if you're going to fish any low water marks in this area near Morecambe, Fleetwood or Blackpool as there can be a lot of muddy areas and you can get stuck so be very careful. Well, that's about it for this video and thanks for watching once again. This is part four of our four part series of our winter's fishing. I tried to save the best for last for you, so we do hope you liked it. Uh, do let us know if there's any areas that you want us to fish for spring, summer to come um, or any time at all through the year to come as well. And we'll be happy to uh, consider it for you. As ever, if you have any questions at all, uh, just get in touch with us and we'll be happy to answer them. Do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to and hit the bell notification icon on there and you'll be notified of our latest videos. As ever, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. We do hope you like it and our other videos on the channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.